Thank you, everyone. My name is Dana Savitsky. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician from NYU Long Island, and I'm happy to be here to talk to you today about ED Olympics and tell you how everyone wins. And I have no disclosures. Um, this is the actual torch that we used on the day of our event, and I'm happy to pass it on to the winner of Ignite or any other department that might want to start an Olympics at their hospital. We all know that burnout is bad and that our job in the ED is hard. The evidence shows that we have the highest rates of burnout, as Dr. Rose just mentioned. And so you can see it is not easy to have career longevity in emergency medicine. And this is an example of how our job is hard in the ED. So imagine you're getting a surgery consult, you page them, they take a long time to call back and they barely want to talk to you. Then they see the patient, you don't even know because they don't come over to talk to you and you need to ask the patient for the plan, which is embarrassing. Just imagine if you had a different perspective, if you had a personal connection with that colleague, um, like as if you went to med school together and think about how it could be different and you probably have better communication. But the reality is not everybody can go to med school together. So we need to create opportunities for you to have these bonds at work. And so when I read about this study that showed how a single point increase in teamwork led to a reduced risk of burnout, I knew that these relationships were worth pursuing. And the ED feels like the Grand Central Station of the hospital because that's where all the specialties come together. And so naturally we saw an opportunity to promote teamwork by creating a friendly, competitive social networking event that we call ED Olympics. Think of the real Olympics where many countries, some of which don't always get along, still will come together and compete to bring honor to their countries. Wouldn't you like to battle the surgery team and bring honor to your department? <laughs> so what exactly is ED Olympics? So we invited the entire hospital, all staff, including nursing and, and clinical staff, to gather for a night and participate in sports like tug of war and play as a team in their own department. Here's some evidence to support our plan to improve communication, promoting positive colleague interactions that could lead to improved patient safety and quality. And it's clever, on the surface, you think you're just playing games, but there's a lot going on underneath. At our event, oh, sorry. We designed our event to improve the efficiency of practice and we wanted to improve patient safety and quality. So when we play these games together, there's a lot of growth and bonding happening under the surface. At our Olympics event, we had 200 people attend and just about every department represented that you can see in all the colors of the t-shirts. And while the personal feedback I got was gratifying, I knew that we needed some metrics and data to prove the success of Olympics. We had a 75% response rate, so that's 150 people took the time to fill out this survey and it showed favorable outcomes for satisfaction, well-being, and most importantly, collaboration with others, and that was the whole point of the, of the event. And one of the reasons we were so successful in getting people to show up is through a team captain network. These are some emails coming from each department from the night before who were like talking smack about who was going to win. It was a lot of fun. Um, if you have a wellness committee at your hospital, like we do, then you'll have a natural network of people who would want to be a team captain or at least would want to know who would. And what you need to know that the metrics can never capture is how people felt about it. This email came from a surgery resident who was the team captain, and he's expressing how he appreciated that the entire hospital was invited and participated and it gave a cohesive feel. And this next text message came from one of the OBGYN faculty physicians who participated and it showcases how people continue to talk about this event even to this day. I'm sure you're wondering if my department emergency medicine won. Sadly, we did not. It was a tie between medicine and neurosurgery, but I have my team here. <laughs> training hard for our next Olympics games in November. As the organizer, I feel that really everyone wins, but especially the ED. When larger groups of people get along better together, we feel it the most. Perhaps we'll get a few less angry consults in the ED, turn them into friends you might want to take selfies with because you remember hanging out at Olympics. In summary, use the powerful motivation of competition to create Olympics at your hospital, be creative and open-minded, 
Try to maintain those connections even after the event because they will pay dividends when you need your next consult in the ED. When you can get everyone to play nicer together in the sandbox at Olympics, everyone wins, but especially emergency medicine. Thank you.